Hello everyone and welcome back to Physio Quest 2.0. This is me Physio Pranksha and I am going to discuss about the first question asked on this Friday. So let's go through the information given in the question. Information given in question is that therapist is observing gait of the patient, finds out there is a lateral pelvic tilt on the swinging side. Also, there is an observation in the frontal plane analysis and we need to find out that why this finding is so much important for the therapist. Option given, now before going to the option, let me make it very clear that we have to focus on the frontal plane analysis. And frontal plane analysis for that only two options are suitable, which is option B, peak, reducing the peak rise of the pelvic and option C, which is genu welcome. Other two options, option A, which is about the forward backward pelvic tilt, we cannot observe much in the frontal plane that we can observe in the sagittal plane. So that is why I'm not going to look into that much. And option D, which is about again to reduce knee flexion and to in that to in the mid stance. So that again also we have to observe more in the sagittal plane. So that option also I'm not going to look much into. Now let's see what option B has to say. Option B says that to reduce peak rise of the pelvis. Now this makes more sense why because we know that lateral pelvic tilt means opposite side of the hip abductors are weak and because of that this can occur and to control this we might have to look in this option therapist wants to look at this option. Option C again is about the controlling the genu welcome. Now genu welcome controlling uh, genu welcome means what that you are putting the leg more towards the midline which means you are reducing the base of support and that is not something we are going to observe or we want it for the adjustment as a therapist. So that is why this option cannot be correct. And again talking about option A, option B, D. So option A was what? To control forward and backward pelvic tilt that actually normally occurs during the swing phase so that cannot be abnormal in this particular situation and again one more reason i told you that we can observe in the sagittal plane so that option can be wrong option d is also about the controlling the knee flexion again that has to be observed in sagittal plane plus this is also bringing your leg towards the midline base of support is less so again this cannot be correct answer and that is why my dear friend option b is the correct if you got it right kudos to you and if you didn't get it right nothing to worry you just have to go through your gait observation gait analysis uh, again and for that physio trends has full playlist for the gait observation you can check it out from this uh, link provided in the description so thank you so much for being here see you all next friday with a new question and next sunday with the solution and answer to that next question